I'm Wanda Sykes. I'm Amy Schumer. And I'm single. Oh, okay. boy. Regina. Wow. Amy Schumer, Wanda Sykes, and Regina Hall bring the funny to the 2022 Academy Awards. And the whole thing was like a big Hollywood roast. I want people that haven't watched the Oscars in years to have a reason to tune in. That's what I think we got tonight. We've been really working. I think Will has done something to really make people feel like, oh, we're celebrating movies. The trio kicked off the show, poking fun at their shared hosting duties. This year, the Academy hired three women to host because it's cheaper than hiring one man. <laughs> and the zingers just kept rolling in. You know what's, uh, what's in the In Memoriam package this what's year? That? The Golden Globes. Mm. Oh. The power of the dog. Oh. You know, um, I watched that movie three times, and I'm halfway through it. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was very disappointed that Space Jam 2 did not get nominated in the special effects category oh, no. for that hairline they gave LeBron James. Last month, the comedians were announced as the show's first hosts in three years. It was going to be an amazing night. Getting to do this with Regina and Wanda, they are such heroes of mine. They are comedy royalty. We've been having so much fun. The, pre the preparation has been the most fun. I said that, like, I've enjoyed every second of getting ready with these ladies. Of course, last year, producers scaled back the Oscars due to the coronavirus pandemic. We've been dealing with COVID for two years. It's been really hard on people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just look at Timothy Chalamet. Oh, God. Uh, what happened? I don't know. It's not good. Yeah, that's 67-year-old J.K. Simmons, not 26-year-old Timothy Chalamet. The girl's trip star announced that she was single during the opening monologue and later said she was asked to perform emergency COVID tests on some of the most handsome, eligible men in the room. I'm going to start with Bradley Cooper, <laughs> Timothy Chalamet, Tyler Perry, Simu Liu, and wait, um, Javier Bardem. Oh, you're still with Penelope. You know what? Actually, no, no, no. Your, your, your test is fine. It, it says that you're married. I'm negative, negative. Can't blame a girl for shooting her shot. It's going to be a typical quick COVID test. You'll come backstage, take your mask off if you have one, and your clothes, and then I'm going to swab the back of your mouth with my tongue, and we're just going to do some other freaky stuff, which I will record for Academy Protocol. Really, this isn't up to me. You know, the truth is we're just, we're still in a pandemic. But Regina didn't stop there. The 51-year-old actress later introduced Jason Momoa and Josh Brolin, giving them what she dubbed a COVID pat-down. It's rough, you know what I mean? I just gotta get on down here. Make sure you're okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, let me get on in there. Yeah. He's feeling good, everybody. Let me get on over here. Oh, boy. Wow, this is a lot. As for Amy, she took a hilarious dig at Leonardo DiCaprio's dating history. Leonardo DiCaprio, what can I even say about him? It's, he's done so much to fight climate change and leave behind a cleaner, greener planet for his girlfriends. <laughs> because he's older and they're younger. Then there's Wanda, who strutted her stuff on stage, dressed as Venus and Serena Williams' dad, Richard Williams. No wonder Richard Williams was so stressed. His jump was squished. Of course, later in the night, Will Smith won the award for Best Actor for his performance as Richard Williams in King Richard. After, he unexpectedly stormed the stage and smacked Chris Rock, who made a joke about Will's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? And after the slap heard around the world, <laughs> oh, wow. Amy, she addressed the elephant in the room. Did I miss anything? <laughs> there's like, there's like a different vibe in here. But before the big show, the 40-year-old comedian told E.T. she was just hoping her two-year-old son, Gene, would tune in to help out with viewership. Does Gene get to stay up and watch Mama tonight? I don't know. I, I hope he chooses me. You know, mom and dad are out, so he's got the remote. Oh, so it's I oh he's on, he's on his own. Uh, Daniel Gene, Tiger, you know. Gene, come on. We need the ratings, Gene. <laughs>